In today's video, I'm taking a Tesla Model 3 motor and installing it in my Volkswagen Vanagon Doka. This is a part of my Tesla Swap electric conversion project. This journey began a couple of months ago when I sold my stock engine for $650. This was the point of no return, and I had to install this Tesla motor. This is a Tesla Model 3 motor. It's good for about 300 horsepower. And after taking some initial measurements and sketching everything up on my computer, I realized that this Tesla motor would actually fit perfectly in between the frame rails of the truck. Now, as far as the Tesla motor is concerned, there are three mounting points. One and two are located up in the front, and the third mounting point will be in the rear of the car. The next step in this process was modeling up some motor mounts that would adapt the Tesla motor to the frame of the truck itself. These were all designed out of quarter inch steel and I exported them and sent them out to Send Cut Send to have them made out of steel and mailed directly to my house. Okay, today we are making motor mounts for this electric truck well, in the making. We're making motor mounts for this Tesla motor. Here are all the pieces that go into making the motor mounts. Okay, first step, throw some bolts in here and tighten each side so it keeps that width the same. Do it also on the other side, just to make sure everything stays in square. Okay, here's our Tesla motor, and here is one of our motor mounts, all welded up. It needs to be cleaned up, but not bad, I guess. We currently have the truck up on a lift now, so let's peek underneath and see what's going on. Okay, we are currently underneath the Doka right now. Now, typically in your regular Volkswagen, the engine would be closer up here. But because of the dimensions of the Tesla motor and the rotor and the motor assembly actually being in front of the driveline, we get to scoot that motor up closer. So technically, this is a mid-engine truck now. Anyways, this is where the motor goes, and I'll show you exactly how it mounts in here. Here is one of our motor mounts, and slides right onto the frame right there. Okay, before we put this motor in, which will again sit between these two frame rails and then have this mustache bar connect from the bottom of this frame rail down to that side, I need to put the two side motor mounts on first, which I have sitting right over there. So let's do that. Okay, we have our motor mounts. We're going to install these and flip them up before we lift the motor into place. There's just not enough room. The clearances are so tight in there between the frame rails. This is truly the only way to do it. It's the only way I've gotten it to work and I designed it. So <laughs> this is really my only option. So I'm gonna bolt these in, flip them up. We're gonna bring the truck down to meet the motor and then jack the motor up. Okay, so here's the process behind these bolts. Now, from the factory, the factory size motor mount bolts are actually loose in the Tesla motor mounts. Now, I'm sure there was a reason for that. Um, and you can see there's kind of this keyed slot way. I don't know if that was a previous iteration of the design that they just carried through to production, or maybe it's for casting these molds in the first place. It's helpful for that. The bolts though, from the actual Tesla factory do not have a keyway in them at all. So I have no idea what it's for. No bolts will perfectly fit. You're either slightly too big of a diameter or slightly too little. So, so basically what I came up with is this aluminum tube, which perfectly 
fits into the Tesla stock motor mount. No wiggle room at all. And then I drilled out the interior of this to perfectly sleeve a bolt. So perfect fit, nice and snug. It also helps not crush the motor mounts when you tighten these bolts down. So that goes through like that, through the motor mount. Then the bolt goes through and then washers and a nut. So pick this up. So there are our motor mounts. You can see how this slots onto the frame rails and then bolts through from the outside of the frame rail in. Initially I thought maybe I would weld these together to the frame rail, but I, I actually need this to be removable to get the motor in and out. And it makes it adaptable to any van again. So even if one day I get rid of this truck, I can put this into a regular stock tin top or camper version of the van again. Or if anyone wants to convert their own van again, send me a message. Okay, let's put this in. All right, now that the engine is on its two mounting points on the side rail, on the frame rails, what I can do is I can grab this ratchet strap and slowly start ratcheting the engine up for the motor. I can come down. And slowly roll this away. a motor totally suspended on its own. Nothing's really tightened down, but it's not that heavy, so I need to get in there, tighten everything up. Okay, here we are underneath the truck. We've lifted it back up. Again, it's being held up by a ratchet strap right here, and then the actual motor mounts. So it makes it a lot easier to actually get to the bolts and tighten everything up. So I'm gonna tighten everything up before I put in this mustache bar. Tighten this down, that locks that into place. And there you go. High voltage, hooked up, kind of tight. Well, no, that's fine. Final part of this process is we have to install this. This is the mustache bar, which goes kind of up here like that. However, this was just a prototype made out of scrap and it is scrap once more. This right here, is the second iteration, much stronger, much cleaner, much nicer, and much more accurate. So it did warp a little bit while I was welding it, but let's get this installed. As you can see, I now have this loosely bolted into place onto the motor. Now I can just fight it into place on the frame rails, which I gotta use ratchet straps. I should have given myself greater tolerance because when I welded it, it all warped in and now I gotta fight it in, but not the end of the world. All right, on this side, I usually have to yank the motor mount this way with a strap. So let's see. There we go. All locked into place. Now we can just tighten them down. There is a fully installed Tesla motor. Pretty good ground clearance too. Not bad. Take a peek underneath. 
pretty clean install. That you can see there is a high voltage lead going up, pops out over there for an air conditioner I'm going to put back here. Introducing the world's first Tesla powered Volkswagen truck. Powered by a 220 kilowatt Tesla Model 3 rear motor. Energized by a Tesla Model 3 standard range battery pack. For an estimated range of 140 miles per charge and 300 horsepower, we've got something on our hands. Join us next week for the first drive.